Good morning, people of God. You are beloved, and I know you know it. Amen. I greet you with the holy word, peace. Pastor Donahue, with your permission, I'd like to share a little story I heard, and I promise I'll pray short. Amen. The story goes like this. There was once a little boy who had a little sister. The little sister was pretty, but she could not read. And the little boy loved his sister very much. One day it just came to him that unless she learned how to read, she would really miss on so many wonderful things in life. So the next time he went to church, he went straight to the elders and told them that he had a sister who could not read. He loved her and he asked them to pray for her that she would be able to read. The elders were impressed and agreed to pray for this little sister right there on the spot. And as soon as the elder said, <clears throat> let us pray, the little boy started running out to church as fast as he could. The elder motioned for an usher in the back who stopped him dead in his tracks. Then the elder said, little boy, how rude are you? You ask us to pray for your sister. And as soon as we started to do so, you up and ran out to church. The little boy said, I apologize, sir. I don't mean no harm but I just wanted to be there when she started to read. That's the kind of faith that moves our God. When the woman with the issue of blood was healed, Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. When Jesus healed the centurion servant, Jesus remarked he had never seen so much faith in Israel. And in the 21st chapter of Matthews, Jesus cursed the fig tree and the disciples were amazed that it withered away the very next day. Jesus answered them and said, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the sea, it shall be done. And I like it. This is how he summarized it. He said, In all things, not some, in all things, whatsoever ye ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Now, I and others on this prayer line can pray for you till we turn blue in the face, but you have to put your faith on it. You have to conceive it, but in order to receive it, you must believe it. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Pastor Donahue. Without further ado, let us pray. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu. Blessed are you, eternal God, ruler of the universe. It's in the matchless and holy name of Yeshua HaMashiach that we submit this prayer today. We confess our manifold sins. They are grievous and ever before us. So many times we have come short of your glory, but you have loved us anyway. You sent your only begotten son, Jesus the Christ, to the cross to pay for our sins. It should have been us hanging on the cross. It should have been us hanging on the tree. It would have been us if it had not been for Jesus. And because of the shedding of his blood, we have the remission of sin. And for that blood, we tell you thank you. Father, we thank you for allowing us to see a brand new day. And thank you for our guardian angels who kept watched over us as we slumbered and slept last night keeping us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger, both seen and unseen. Father, we have gathered here today, some with petitions, some with praise, and some who just want to listen in. So, Father, we ask that you would meet our needs according to your riches in glory and cause to prosper everything that our hands touch. Father, we stand in agreement with every prayer request that matches up with your will, your word, and your way whether it was verbalized or unarticulated we lift up every concern and every name that populates our prayer list oh holy one of israel we acknowledge that sometimes our faith is not where it should be so we ask you to increase our faith that we might receive everything that you have in store for us in jesus name father so much confusion in the world today the enemy is trying to wear us out 
sowing seeds of doubt and fear and false imaginations. But God, your word reminds us that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. You have given us the power to be more than a conqueror, to be a victor in Jesus' name. Father, we give you unlimited access to our situations, circumstances, and concerns of life. Help us to remember that you are still sitting on the throne and that all is well and as it should be. In the name of Jesus, we resist the enemy and take authority over his works and that of his cohorts. Every appointment has been canceled, not to be rescheduled. Bless our God. By faith, we decree and declare that all is well, even when we cannot see the way. By faith, all is well, even when we have more bills than money. By faith, all is well when the night is as black as the midnight sky and the day is as dark as the night. By faith, all is well when the credit card payment, the rent, mortgage, and utility bills are due. By faith, all is well even when the car note, the insurance payments come around. By faith, all is well, even when friends turn and walk away, when loved ones disappoint us. All is well when the fires of hell are raging and the hell hounds are raging. All is well, even when we cannot see it. By faith, all is well when we cannot feel you moving on the main altar of our hearts. By faith, we know that you are working things out for our good. By faith, all is well when the doctor walks away shaking his head. All is well when the lawyer refuses to take our case. By faith, all is well. All is well. All is well and as it should be. And Father, when our hearts are overwhelmed, lead us to the rock that is higher than we are. Set us up in the pavilion of your secret place of your tabernacle. Heal us. Set us free. Save and deliver in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, our hearts go out to those who are bereaved today, the afflicted and the addicted, the shut-in, the hopeless, the institutionalized, those who are, who are incarcerated, that one with the bowed-down head, the one who cannot smile, the helpless, those who don't have enough to eat, those dealing with depression, the homeless, that one who is considered suicide. Father, don't forget those heading up to difficult surgeries, those who are suffering under corrupt political regimes, those without adequate shelter, food, clothing, clean drinking water and medical attention. Father, don't forget those in hospitals and hospices, those who are the victims of calamity and weather-related catastrophe. Brighten up their outlook, Father God. Look them down through your Shekinah glory that they may not be able to see you, feel you, or trace your hand, but you are there and you are working it out. Father, we pray for that one who has reached the road of indecision, that one who is suffering from a crisis of faith, that one that did not know which way to go. Give them guidance and peace of mind. Stay the hand of the enemy. Arrest the spirits of murder and mayhem, wrath, rage, anger, unabashed racism that has been let loose in the world and anything that exalted us against your people and the knowledge of you. Please send ministering angels, Father. Father, you said that our whole household could be saved and we're resting on that promise. So God, we're holding on to your word. Reclaim the backslider and lay claim on the souls of those who do not yet know you in the pardon of their sins. Father, we pray for traveling mercies, protection and blessings for the essential workers, the first responders, the teachers and school staff and everyone else who has to be out and about in the streets. Father, continue to bless our government and the leaders that you have chosen and put in place. Bless our finances. Give us favor with our creditors, our supervisors, and those who have been given charge over us. And now I speak to the 11 systems of the human body. I adjure you in the mighty name of Jesus that you would operate in alignment with the blueprint as God has designed you. Get back in perfect working order. Inflammation, calm down. Pain in the back of the neck, pain in the spinal column, pinched nerves, discomfort in the hip joints, arthritis, gout, rheumatism, vertigo, consumption, palsy. Stop now in the mighty name of Jesus. Cancer, you are a defeated foe. Return back to the pit. COVID-19, autism, asthma, diabetes, uh, sickle cell anemia, 
irregular blood pressure, shingles, cataracts, fibroid tumors, multiple sclerosis, cirrhosis of the liver, kidney and liver problems, lupus, epilepsy, strokes and heart attacks waiting to happen, aneurysms and all other sickness. The word declares that by the stripes of Jesus we are healed on today. The word declares that we are every whit whole. Now act like it, straighten up and fly right in the name of Jesus, every gland and every process operate uh, efficiently. Brain reestablish a state of clarity and lucidity. Every illegal growth, you are cursed in your roots. Dry up and wither away in the mighty name of Jesus. Generational curse be reversed and transformed into unlimited favor and preferential treatment. Father, we ask that you would send special blessings directly into our bank accounts. Give us jobs, careers, and entrepreneurial opportunities that are beyond our training, uh, our experience, and beyond our education. Father, bring us out into a wealthy place. Father God, we thank you for supernatural debt cancellation and forward progress. We thank you for creating multiple streams of income and that wealth is attached to our first name and that abundance and blessings are attached to our last names. Father, please put a hedge of protection around our family, friends, and loved ones, especially our young people. Bless every intercessor and those in their circle of concern. Turn the hearts of the children back to the fathers and the hearts of the fathers back to their children. Father, for those who are de dealing with dementia and Alzheimer's, for those who are the caretakers of those people, for those who feel emptiness in their uh, spirit, Father God, fill up the gaps. Father God, fill it in. Let us feel whole and complete in you. Father, please bless everyone under the sound of my voice, whether they hear me now in real time or later as a restream. Holy Ghost, take this prayer and polish it up so that it can be made perfectly acceptable to our God. Father, please bless every church and home that is represented in this virtual tabernacle of prayer. Get glory out of what we say and do in spite of what we say and do. And if you do that, we'll be careful to give your name the praise. If you don't, you're still God. You'll continue to be God, and we'll still owe you big time. It's in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach that we submit this prayer. And every saint of God who can and will open their mouth and agreement with this prayer, you can signify so by saying amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It is so, people of God. Shalom, everyone. Be encouraged and be blessed.